Well, I'm Joseph Staten, Creative Director for Microsoft Studios Global Publishing, and today we have people coming in to play Crackdown 3. Now, people are playing two different things. They're playing our single player and co-op story campaign, and then they're playing the PvP mode, which is called Wrecking Zone. This is the cloud-powered, fully destructible PvP arena. Uh, people can go anywhere they want in the single player game today. Crackdown's a big open world, non-linear sandbox. It's just a playground of fun. So you can go anywhere. If you see a building, you want to climb it. As long as you're agile enough, you have enough agility strength, uh, agility skill, you can just jump up this huge skyscraper, leap around the world, engage any targets that you want. A very free, fun experience. And then in Wrecking Zone, the thing to keep in mind is the whole environment is destructible. So you need to think about how you want to use destruction tactically. It goes way beyond spectacle and really gets into some fun, uh, hardcore gaming. Yeah, the key thing to remember about Crackdown's campaign is that it is completely non-linear. Well, there's a little linear tutorial that teaches you how to play the game, but once you leave the tutorial area and you go into the open world, there are no more loads. If you die, there'll be a quick load when you respawn, but there's no loading, there's no linear story that forces you to take one path. If you want, you can enter into the city, uh, exit out of the tutorial, and go right for the final boss tower and try to take on the final boss right from the beginning. It's gonna be a little hard, but if you wanna do it, you absolutely can. So the story in Crackdown games has always been non-linear. They're meant to follow the player around the world, and as the player pokes on certain enemies or hits certain objectives, the story keeps up with you and is always offering you new information about things that you could try. When you get close to something, the story will light up and say, hey, here's this thing that you might care about. Do you wanna, do you wanna go for it? The story is deeper than any previous Crackdown game this time around. There's more story content. It's a whole new cast of, of enemy characters, these new bosses of Terra Nova Corporation, but it retains that same Crackdown, non-linear, follow you anywhere uh, kind, of, kind of story. Crackdown's always been a game that rewards you for how you want to play. If you like taking on enemies with firearms, well, they'll quickly level your firearms skill. If you're more of a brawler and you want to punch people, you know, pick up objects in the world, throw them at them, you'll be leveling up your, your strength skill. So the game automatically adapts and rewards to your unique style of play. We've added one new thing to the mix for Crackdown 3, which is every agent that you can pick from in the game there are 21 total agents. Each of them has a slightly different skill leveling affinity. So one agent might be a little bit better at driving and a, and a lot better at explosives compared to an agent which might be really good at agility and uh, firearms. And as you go through the game, you'll unlock these things we call supply points in the game, which are basically checkpoints. At those supply points, you can swap between agents. So if you find yourself wanting to level strength more quickly because that skill's been lagging behind, well, you can just pick an agent that's better at leveling strength, play with them for a while, and then switch back and forth. The reason why this works, the crackdown fiction, is that every time you die, you get regenerated, regen, your body is rebuilt. Um, so we're just saying fictionally, yeah, if you want to regen as a different agent, a female agent this time that's better at, at uh, agility, go for it. You can swap out your, your male character who's better at driving for, for her for a little while. So it's this nice new uh, spice that we put into the Crackdown leveling mix. So there is a loose form to the game. I think people who play a lot of open world games will be familiar with it. There are enemy factions in the world. There's the big overarching um, uh, big bad in the world, this Terra Nova Corporation, but Terra Nova is div divided up into divisions, industry, logistics, and security. So right at the beginning of the game, you're presented with the uh, the characters who are in, are in charge of these particular divisions, and Elizabeth Neiman, who's the CEO of this corporation. So we have tools in the world, a map, of course, what we call our, it's changed over the years, but it's like a, a dossier, a description of the, the bad guys in the game. And you can use these tools to decide what division of Terra Nova do I want to attack? Well, what kinds of things do they own in the city? Okay, the industrial division, they own this chimera mining quarry, they own these refining platforms. I'm gonna put a waypoint on one of those and I'm gonna go, go tackle that because I wanna start chipping away at this division. So while you're completely free to go anywhere, anytime, fight against one boss character, but decide, no, I'm gonna go do something else for a little while, the game will keep up with you. It's happy to adapt. It just follows you wherever you want to go. The story does that. But we do have these tools to help players prioritize 
what targets they want to, what they want to go for. So you'll always know what the overarching goal is, but Crackdown gives you a lot of freedom, tons of freedom to figure out how you want to get there. So in Wrecking Zone, we have three maps that we're going to launch with, and we have two modes. One of the modes is called Agent Hunter. It works a lot like Kill Confirmed. And then we have a Territories mode. And so people will be able to go into three fully destructible arenas. Each of them has a, a special fictional place in the Crackdown universe. Uh, Hall of Heroes, the map that people are playing today, is actually the, the agency, the uh, crime-fighting organization that you work for in the game. It's the agency's Hall of, Hall of Heroes, so a bunch of cool destructible statues. One of the other maps is called Nova Station. It's this secret base out in the asteroid belt uh, where the bad corporation in the game is mining this super-powered uh, mineral called Chimera. You can probably tell by the map descriptions of these uh, maps that Crackdown is this comic book inspired, over the top uh, action action game. And uh, we're really excited to have people play today and, uh, and see how it feels to be in this destructible arena. I'm really happy as a longtime Crackdown fan, I'm excited that we've made a game that is thoroughly Crackdown. And I think if you love that free, open sandbox of comic book inspired fun that Crackdown has always been. I think you're really gonna like Crackdown 3. The other thing I would really encourage people to do is jump in on Game Pass and try out Wrecking Zone. It's this really novel gameplay experience. This cloud power destruction just doesn't look good. It's actually really fun to play. There's a lot of deep tactical choice in the game. And I'm especially excited for other developers, fans of games, to look at this small step that we've taken with cloud compute and what we're able to do. And hopefully it'll inspire other ideas for how we can use this technology because it's, it's really, really cool. So Crackdown 3 launches first on Game Pass on February 15th of this year. So just in, in a few weeks. Of course, you can play it on Xbox and Windows PC.